Hello friends, how are you? This is HL7StarterKit.com. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm here today to present to you with um, a free HL7 message viewer. Um, I actually found an open source application called, I think it was Quick HL7 um, Reader or something like that, and um, someone w the, they were kind enough to put the source code out um, into the public and share it, and so I took that source code and um, in the application, and I I figured I'd take that and and try to make it better and make it um, an HL7 viewer that's useful for me. And while I was at it, I figured maybe um, once I feel it's useful for me, that maybe it could also be useful for you. And so I'm putting this out here um, for you. Uh, so uh, this is it right here. <coughs> You'll see it's uh, called hl7startedkit.com message viewer up here. And I, made, I, I just started modifying it, but um, I did create started some small modifications. Um, so let's see what we have here. Here's what I did. Um, and I'm going to continue to enhance this application. So if you have any suggestions, please let, please let me know. Um, first of all, what I did was I added a file count. You can see here that if you <coughs> load in the folder path here, that this window displays all of the files containing HL7 messages. Um, it, you see a list here, and that's driven by this text box. So what I did was I added a file count, which is right here. Total file count, total files loaded are four. Here we go. And I added a message count total HL7 messages in file is 9. So you can see here that we have currently looking at the sample out multi text file with <coughs> 7 HL7 messages. And what I did was I added this little bar to separate them because there was no separator. So I added an HL7 message sa separator. And I added the little blue background and also added an about screen. So if you'd like to purchase my book you can just go to about, click this link, and you'll go directly to the Amazon page to buy my book. So that's pretty much it. On its own, it, it does a really good job. As you click the files, you can see that the application loads the messages here on the bottom. Really nice. And as you flip through, you can see the message, this change. One message, two messages, and then down here, nine messages. Now. <coughs> You can expand the segments, and as you click on the segments down at the bottom, you'll notice a screen appear, and that describes your fields. So you have your segments and your fields, and that's how that works. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I just wanted to do a quick video here to share this with you. I don't want to take up a lot of time. Um, please, if you have any ideas on enhancements, put it below this video. I know one thing I really want to do is um, use a feature called determine unique string so that I can look at one particular field and see how many um, matching values exist throughout the entire uh, message and that becomes really useful. Um, I have another video about how to do that manually but I really want to take this application and automate it. So look for more features. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this and uh, you know if you have any other good HL7 viewers or free tools um, out there, uh, feel free to let me know. I like to learn about new tools and um, share information. So that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.